How's it going, everyone? You're watching The Green Dream Project. Jim here. Now, my wife Jessica and I, we live off-grid in southeast Arizona, and we live almost completely 100% on rainwater. Now, we get a lot of questions. How do you guys keep your water safe to drink? What do you guys do with this water? How do you filter this water? We're going to go over and answer all those questions. Now, we're in the midst of building our own earth bag house out here coming along really nicely and we're going to get back to those build videos but there's a lot of pressing questions that we want to get answered first so let's get to it so let's talk collection surfaces now i built this roof as a way to give us some shade but also to collect that water this thing is 2200 square feet and i opted to build it with a metal roofing metal makes a great surface to collect water off of you can actually collect water off of quite a few different surfaces. What I do not recommend for collecting a rainwater off of is any kind of chemically laden surface. I wouldn't collect water off of asphalt shingles, anything where uh, it could pick up a lot of chemical residue. Now that we've talked about the surface for collecting water, now how you collect it. So when your water comes off your collection surface, well, through your gutters, it's important to have any place that gets into your collection system screened off. So you don't want to get any kind of bugs in here or debris. You want any water going into this as clean as possible. So always make sure any entrance into your collection system is screened off. Now a lot of times you'll see people have a first flush system in place uh, and it's just any kind of debris or something that might get into or uh, bird droppings that might get in there. We'll go into a first flush system. I recommend it, even though we technically we don't have one. We just keep the screens to keep everything out and all the water goes into our storage just to simplify the whole process. Next up, 90 degree elbows are incredibly important when you're collecting your water. So once the water goes into the pipe, you see we have a 90 degree elbow here. 90 degree elbow here, 90 degree elbows going into your storage container, very helpful in keeping light out. So remember, no light, no leaves, no uh, biomatter, no bugs. So again, same thing with whatever you're storing the water in. If you're gonna be using this for potable water, you wanna make sure no light gets in here, make sure everything's sealed up and so uh, bugs and stuff can't get in either. And you just wanna keep all that stuff out so that you don't get any unwanted growth, any bacterial growth, any algae growth in the tanks. Now collection is super important. I can't stress that enough. If you collect the water well, uh, that could provide clean, fresh drinking water. It all goes into how well your storage and collection capabilities are. Now we do have some filters in place for us. We like to have that extra precautionary measure just in case. So we go over the kind of filters we've been using now for a couple years, and it's been working out really well for us. So right now, the way we're living, we live out of an RV while we're building our house. One of the first steps in our filtration process is an inline RV water filter. So right now, we just pump water from our poly tanks over to the RV. And these inline water filters are fantastic, very easy to use, very convenient. You just hook it up to the hose, has an outlet, and then it goes right into the tank. Now, if I were you, I would just do a little bit of research on what kind of inline filter you get. There are worse ones and there are better ones. Uh, just make sure this one uh, does a really good job, uh, filters out quite a bit of contaminants even before it reaches the RV. Do a little bit of research, make sure you're getting the right quality one for like drinking and whatnot. I think this one's called the HydroLife Water Filtration System. Now for drinking water, we run it through another filter yet. Now for the final stage of our filtration, if we're gonna be using this water for drinking, we also run it through our Berkey. And we've been using this now for a few years and we absolutely love it. The water that comes out of this, crystal clear, beautiful drinking water, best water we've ever had. With the rain water, running it through the Berkey, amazing.
Now, if you're wondering all the ways that we use water off-grid, I can tell you it's not that different than how most people use water. I'd say the main difference is probably we tend to be uh, very conservative with our water use because we know that we're limited to just whatever we have in the tanks. So in addition to drinking water for ourselves and for crew... Dang, you thirsty. We do dishes. We do laundry. Uh, we do take showers. And we use water just for general cleaning around the home. All of our water that we use in the home goes into our gray water system. So this is used, slightly dirty water, and that gets reused comes out of the trailer and it goes into a basin where we're growing a tree. Notice I didn't mention anything about uh, toilets. So we don't have flush toilets here, so we don't have any toilet wastewater. And that really helps cut down on our water use. Also, we use a little bit of water for some other things occasionally. Our compost will need a little bit of extra moisture, so we add some water to that. We have some chickens, they need water too. And we have a small garden right now that needs watering too, but we've done some things to cut down on our water use as much as possible for gardening. We have Oya pots, which allows the water to seep out right at the roots of the plants. We have made sunken beds and we filled everything with mulch, so it really helps to prevent evaporation and hold in moisture as long as possible. So we just wanted to make a quick little video answering some questions about how we collect the water safely, how we store the water safely, our filtration systems we use. And of course, all the different ways that we use that water here off-grid. Now I think once we get our house built, we'll have a more robust filtration system. We're still going to be using the Berkey filter for our drinking water. The Berkey will always be a part of what we do out here. <laughs> If you have any more questions, of course, we, there always seems to be some. Feel free to leave those down below. Don't forget to give this video a big thumbs up. And uh, we'll catch you in the next video as we keep on building this house. Alright, later y'all.